Hey, I wanted to share something with you really cool that I just discovered. It's called The Kindness Chronicles. It was on Netflix. There's a lot of uh, the videos that I used to have on old VHS and then, uh, um, is it VHS or VHF? I can't even remember, it's been so long ago. And then DVD and now they're on Netflix like Forks Over Knives and stuff like that and Food Matters and Eating and those things. Um, well, I found something called The Kindness Chronicles and I was so touched and impressed by it. This guy goes on a little motorcycle with sidecar and he heads out from California near where I live there in the United States of America and he gets in this this little tricycle old motorcycle he doesn't know how to even fix it he's not a mechanic but he calls it kindness one and he starts riding out and he says I'm gonna go as far as I can and see how far I can go on the kindness of strangers and so he goes and he runs out of gas and of course he asks people from get for gas and he says I, I can't give any money can you just give me gas can you give me a place to stay can you give me something to eat and you know he was inspired by something else another person that did just that and guess what I'm inspired by by him I'm actually inspired by I believe the Holy Spirit by God just I've been wanting to do this in fact I've done it many times if you go back to some of my videos when I was in Bangkok for 10 days with like a few dollars three or four dollars I forget what it was or maybe it was eight dollars I can't remember but uh, living on the streets of Bangkok and, and in the Philippines and in different countries and even affluent countries like Singapore and here in the United States, I'm in Hawaii right now. So I'm gonna do that, but I wanna encourage you to watch that Kindness Chronicles. And I think, um, I'm just waiting for the right opportunity. Maybe a bicycle would be good, but basically, I don't know. I wanna go as far as I can go in the kindness of others because there is such a lacking. Our Seventh-day Adventist Church, and listen to this, guys. This is incredibly, incredibly important as I go through here in this little town. Uh, where am I at? I mean, Kialakakua, I think. No, I'm just passing Kalakakua. This is an incredible uh, thing that you need to know about our church. There is a Bible chapter, Matthew 25, talks about when Jesus comes, he's separating the sheep from the goats. And, you know, the, the goats, of course, are not the same, the sheep are the